this is Uli speaking. After I lost my husband and my mom a few years ago, I had a lot of time to think. I came to the conclusion and I strongly believe that God uses me on my journey of grief to discover myself again and most importantly, he woke me up. I gained quite a bit of knowledge and wisdom since their transition and now is my time to share it with you. I will talk about the importance of consciousness and our restricted system. We have all been given life by God on this beautiful earth and we should use this life to fulfill our potential. You are chosen by God for this life you are living. From the moment we are born our consciousness gets trapped in this illusory world. This is especially true for those in the western world. Starting with your birth certificate, we become a person but we are still born as a human being. Sadly, we don't necessarily know better sometimes, so we don't have this mindset. If you were born into a poor family in a poor country and made your way to the western countries, you would feel humbled to be in a land where milk and honey flows. However, we don't have this emotion because a few evil people run our restricted system full to the prime these laws. Slowly but surely they take our skills, labor, pride, knowledge, jobs, time and talent one by one. Most people are not aware what's really going on because of destruction and indoctrination since childhood. What is my purpose? One of the most common questions you have by man. According to consciousness, this comes from experiences, sharing, loving, seeing and learning new things. If we don't figure out our purpose, we end up living a controlled life bound by prison walls. As soon as consciousness reaches knowledge and intelligence, you have the power to understand realization and this leads to a quicker expansion of consciousness. As soon as you realize that the current design system doesn't make you happy, you start to question the system as well as yourself. Is this really what I want? Although it might seem daunting, there is a way out. When people feel there is no hope, they turn to politicians while ignoring God. Just because these people spend their time in the public eye and are well known, why does this mean we should trust them blindly? Ultimately, we have hope and we have love because it comes from God. Don't put yourself down. You are smarter than you think. So use your intelligence and break free from the programming that has been restricting us for generations. Once you believe in spirituality and God, you will experience a life full of joy because you are listening to the inner voice, God's voice. If your voice is speaking up, don't shut it down, but instead listen and act. Whether it is work, family, the entertainment industry or media, most people become distracted because there is a pressure to keep up. Social media became more important than oneself. Don't forget, you are the most important person on this earth, so you need to come first, no matter how far away it may seem. Close your eyes, take a deep breath and dream of the life you desire, rather than listening to what other people think. Listen to yourself and believe. Proverb Face moves mountains. What happened yesterday has gone. Since you can't change it, focus on today and the future. Instead of waiting for the politicians to bring change, you might wait forever and you will waste precious time. Go out there and earn the change yourself. If you aren't happy, equip a positive mindset and get to work changing your situation. With material things such as cars, TVs, houses and gadgets, they don't bring long-term happiness. When you have these things, you end up paying more money on interest, which is essentially extra charges for having numbers on a screen. Eventually, material possessions wear down and they become worthless. Sometimes we call these things smart, when actually they are the opposite because they brainwash and manipulate. With smartphones and other smart devices, they seem great until they cause mysterious illnesses through Wi-Fi. 
moving away from technology, even the food industry is lending a helping hand to those who know no different. Now obesity and its related diseases are higher than ever before. The list goes on and nothing will ever change if you don't wake up and spread the word. Despite God giving us this beautiful earth, very few people on top of the pyramid running the show. After destroying the earth, they move on to destroy everything that has a soul. For the masters at the top, they don't have laws, they don't have restrictions. If you have a one dollar bill in your pocket right now, take a look at the eye at the top of the pyramid. Do you think it's fair that they are constantly watching? No, but we can all stand up and be counted. As more people do this, the world will change. It needs to start somewhere, and that somewhere is you. Doesn't it seem like we are getting more and more rules every day? Of course, there needs to be rules, but there are simply too many. If we don't obey every single one of them, we get in trouble and face consequences. The world we live in has grown to the point where our consciousness cannot expand. A significant percentage of the world waste precious time in jobs they don't enjoy. Relationships and marriages fail because many people can grow spiritually. Where to start? If you are looking for a starting point, maybe suggest the removal of your TV. It seems strange that we sit and watch the negativity that has been created by ourselves and the people who run this system. Suddenly we feel fear, but this only prevents you from moving forward. Compared to TV, your life is the best movie. Why waste it watching the stories of others? Next, you could downsize. If your house is too large, consider moving. By nature, we are all hoarders. That's why we hold on to items. If you haven't used something in two years, do you really need it? Try to give it away and bring joy to others. If possible, work less hours. If you can do this, you will have more free time for loved ones and yourself. Purposely, this system is not family friendly designed. When you have children, investing time is one of the most important things you can do. As your children grow older, they will remember their childhood and it will shape their adulthood. So you need to play a key role. If you are working all the time, they will remember this and your relationship won't be able to develop together. As well as benefiting your children, you will also learn a lot yourself. To children, life is black and white and we could take a leaf from their book. Furthermore, you should be looking to enjoy the present as much as possible because you never know what is just around the corner rather than leaving your body to rot. Look after it by exercising and feeding it well. You have trouble talk to an older person or a farmer about what they consider to be real food and you will soon get an idea for what you should consume. As they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And this is still so true today. With good organic food, illnesses can be cured and you can heal. God gifted us with natural food, not pills created by scientists. Also, we should be looking to make others smile. Sometimes it only takes a smile to make their day a happy day. No one is born happy, but all of us are born with the ability to create happiness. Don't forget to be grateful for the little things in life. You might consider to write it down. When we are laying on our deathbeds, we regret the things we didn't do as opposed to the things we did do. If you step up and take action today, imagine how happy you could be. With consciousness and wisdom, you could drive and share with others, rather than being in the hands of others. You can have power and potential to live an abundant life. Once consciousness gets the taste of freedom, you will never be restricted again. When consciousness is free, it expands and continues to move us forward. We 
Is this we can earn ourselves a restriction-free space in the afterlife? If you think earthly life is the end, you are wrong. Life is infinity, while love provides the answer.